about email newsletters, is it worth having exclusive content for subscribers versus just linking to existing blog posts? Um, okay, I, I do see that people who teach newsletters usually encourage you to have exclusive newsletter content. Um, sometimes they call it a love letter, which is kind of silly to me, but uh, it's like, join my newsletter and you'll get things that you won't see from social media. I get it. And yes, maybe it does build a, build a, 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 news, a bigger newsletter following faster, but I'm too lazy for it. I'm like, if I'm going to write, I'm going to make sure the most number of people see it. I'm not going to just <laughs> have only my newsletter subscribers see it. And so I don't have exclusive. I don't even have a preamble. I don't even say, hey, today, this week, I'm under the weather, and how are you doing? <laughs> no. I mean, if you look at what I do on my newsletter, um, it is surprisingly minimalistic. Uh, I'm going to go to georgecow.com, <clears throat> monthly, and that's where you can see my newsletter examples. And you could see this is my best post of the past month. It's the same preamble every month going on five years. Um, and then this is basically a co copy and paste from the first few paragraphs. Not always the first few paragraphs. Sometimes it's further down in the article, but it's something that I feel like is a good enough quick preview of what the article is. Um, and then sometimes I didn't have a preamble for the article or the slideshow or content piece. And then that's it. So my newsletters get a 45% open rate on a 45 to 50% sometimes up to, but it's high 40s on a 4,000 person subscriber list. That's extremely high for those of you who know the numbers. Um, you're supposed to have high open rate when you have like a few subscribers. But once you get into the thousands of subscribers, getting a high 40% open rate is really remarkable because the industry average is around 20%, 20 to 25%. And my click rate is also above average in part because I don't give people much before they have to click. So that's part of it. But yeah, I, my viewpoint is no. Uh, if you're gonna write, you, you should put it everywhere. <laughs> you know, why are you keeping it just to your newsletter subscribers? No. Um, now, maybe, maybe you, you say, well, let's, let's do a happy medium and I'll do unique content for my newsletter, which I will then repurpose for social media three months later. That way there's a bit of a, hey, I, I get, you know, George's latest content only on the newsletter. So that might be a middle way. Um, but otherwise, I would say your writing is good enough to put everywhere, your blog, LinkedIn, in, uh, medium.com, Facebook, um, Instagram as carousel posts. Um, yeah, everywhere you can. So hope that helps.